Why are we gonna Why are we gonna break protocol? Do the dance, you know? Huh? You gotta do the dance. Are you gonna? I don't want to dance with you. Yeah. But probably, you can ask the first question. Probably a good, probably a good call. Right. Uh, now you throw me off again. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. you got to handle pressure. Uh, Butler, Butler scored the first seven points at half time, after halftime, and he called that timeout. Um, what do you think changed after that? And you guys went on that run eventually. And if you're feeling really open, what, what did you just – can you disclose what you said in the timeout? We had a very direct conversation. And uh, our guys knew. Uh, the young men that I'm fortunate to coach are are elite, and uh, they know when they're not performing to the level or with the effort or concentration and focus um, that they're they're certainly capable of. So uh, we rebooted and. Um, our guys responded out of that timeout. Um, you, you, I want to give a lot of credit to Butler. You know, I'm not sure we've had a team play as hard against us in five serve as Butler did. That, to me, especially the first half, it felt like a March uh, madness type of game. Uh, their pace of play and how hard they were running their offense and their physicality, I thought, really knocked us back. And, you know, we're coming off a, a situation where we've had a little bit of a break. And breaks are good. Um, but it also, you know, when the bullets start flying again, you can you can be knocked back by, uh, you know, by the quality and the effort that the team you're playing uh, brings to the table. So... I really thought Butler played – they're good. I mean, they're an NCAA tournament team. Um, they're really a very good team. So um, I'm really proud of the win for our guys. I thought our guys responded, uh, especially, you know, um, the last 16 minutes of the first half – oh, second half, I'm sorry. Theo John, when it seemed like everybody else really wasn't hitting their shots, really wasn't having any offensive rhythm, he seemed to have it. What was really going right for him? Well, you know, teams have to dedicate a lot to our shooting, and teams have to dedicate a lot to Marcus Howard in particular. And a lot of times the second defender on Marcus is the opposing team center. And so when we got the ball out of the trap, Theo – you know, was was open, and to his credit, he was able to finish. And I thought he played with with really good force, and uh, that was encouraging to see. Um, his finishing around the basket, the fact that he had double figure rebounds, and then his you know he he's been a consistent defensive present f for us. But it's nice when people are going to dedicate two defensive players to one of our offensive players that you can find a guy and then he can capitalize on those opportunities. Coach, it seemed like when you needed a, uh, a spark, it was Jamal Kane that came off the bench and really provided that spark. Can you talk a little bit about what he brought in the, and the energy that he brought tonight? Well, you know, I'm so proud of Jamal. You know, he uh, he's really, a, first and foremost, he's a beautiful kid. And, you know, the season, if you would ask him, hasn't exactly gone to plan. You know, he's played, and there's been stretches where he hasn't gotten games. Um, but to Jamal's credit, uh, he's maintained just a really good attitude. And when you have a guy whose heart and mind's in the right place, even though things aren't necessarily going their way, uh, when they get their opportunity, they capitalize on it. And Jamal's done that the last – Jamal's earned minutes. He's, he, is, he is earning minutes. And, and it, it all stems from the fact that he's had a great, great attitude. Going forward, Marcus has been playing a ton of minutes, 40 again tonight. Is that something that kind of concerns you as you no. – Tournament. I mean, you want your Dudes, best player. There, on the there's floor, not a but. player in college basketball that's in better condition than Marcus, and he works his tail off to be in condition. 
we give Marcus rest outside of games, and uh, we need him on the floor. And, uh, uh, you know, I played for a guy, and I, I coached with a guy who always told me, your, your best players never want to come out. And Marcus has agreed with that statement. So um, he, the rest we need to give Marcus is not in games. It's in practice, and that's what we do. Uh, last time we saw Sam, he took that pretty good shot to the eye and DePa at, against DePaul. I'm just wondering if you missed any time during the week or, or anything. Yeah, you know, we had a, we had a, uh, a break, and, and uh, we gave Sam a number of days off. And, uh, and Sam, you know, like Sam, with, like Mark, it's hard to take those two guys off the court, man. Those, you know, for me, I trust those guys. And we've been through a lot of battles together, and and uh, it's hard to take those guys off the court. And uh, so, with those two guys in particular, uh, when you're talking about rest and recovery, uh, the rest and recovery doesn't occur during games; it occurs outside of games. And so, I think we've tried to be very thoughtful and deliberate in terms of their workload outside of game days. What did you think of Sam's dunk there? It wouldn't have won the dunk contest. <laughs> um, and what makes Sean McDermott so tough to defend? You know, he's constant motion. The kid, kid uh, plays with an unbelievable motor. I mean, uh, I, I admire that. I mean, he, he just, he's like the energizer bunny. He just keeps moving and moving and moving. And when you play really hard, um, a lot of times good things are going to happen for you. And, and he's uh a great example of that. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I didn't know we had That's to be my so first a... thank you in like <laughs> five years. I didn't know we had to be so formal. Uh, going back to Theo. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, going back to Theo, you know, he's off the court. He's, you know, kind of a sweet guy, kind of a, kind of a. <laughs> Is this a comedy show tonight? <laughs> Theo's a sweet guy. Yeah, yeah. Sweet nature, just like soft spoken. Yes. At least with us. Okay. But he seems to kind of flip the switch when he gets on the court. Is that something? Do you, do you see the disparity in in, in that? Yeah. No. He. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you get on the court, like who you are away from the court. Um, a lot of times you have to get in character when you're you're you cross the lines and. Um, Guys can have different personalities away from the court, but the game requires a certain attitude and a certain mindset. And even though, um, you know, Sweet, his mom would be so happy that you called him Sweet, and I think he's a sweet kid. But, you know, Theo's a young man that says, please, thank you. He waits in line. He raises his hand when he's asked a question. When you cross the lines, it's the laws of the jungle, man. You don't do those things. And I think Theo's figured that out. And uh, he's become a really – Theo's become a, a very good player, and obviously he's a key player for us. You guys, you guys are with me winter tie, right? 